Hello my loves and welcome back. I hope you are fabulous today. In today's video, we are going to be answering an age-long question. Should you apply your concealer before or after your foundation? If you wear makeup, you have probably at some point asked yourself this question. So the simplest answer is both are technically right. However, it's going to depend on what kind of products you're using. So let's break this down and figure out if you should be putting on your concealer before or after your foundation. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kai. I am a hairstylist and a makeup artist. I do live makeup videos on Facebook, and I also do different product reviews and tutorials here on YouTube. You can also check me out over on Instagram at styles by underscore Kyle. So the biggest thing to consider when deciding whether to put your concealer or your foundation on first is what kind of product you're using. So the first type of concealer I'm going to talk about is this, a color correcting concealer. This is something that should always be put on prior to your foundation. It is meant to neutralize any unwanted tones in the skin. Obviously, if I put my foundation on first and then I put green concealer or purple concealer on top of it, it's going to give it a purplish or a greenish cast. So when you're correcting, you should always put that concealer on first. The second type of concealer that you should probably put on before you put on foundation is any kind of a potted or cream concealer. These tend to be a thicker consistency and sometimes when you put them on top of foundations, they tend to pick up the product a little bit, if that makes any sense. And these often work better when they're kind of warmed up and against the skin. So a potted or a cream concealer, you can definitely put on before you've put on your foundation. Most of us are probably using a concealer, something like this, a little tube with a doe foot applicator or a sponge applicator or that squeezes out of a tube. These are the most common types of concealers. These typically have a more liquidy consistency to them. So when you go to apply them to the skin, and then try to put another product on top of them, they have the tendency to kind of move around a little bit. I often use concealers for highlighting as well as coverage, so I like to be able to place it exactly where I want it. I also prefer to put my concealer on after my foundation because you use less concealer that way. When I come in on my blank face with a bunch of concealer, I'm gonna immediately wanna cover up all of my redness and all of the uneven tones. But if I put my foundation on first and let that cover what it's going to cover, then I can come back in with my concealer and I can kind of build up coverage in the areas that I need it. So I'm going to demonstrate with a doe foot style concealer today. I'm actually going to be using one from Kai Kylie Cosmetics. This one is their Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer. It's one of my favorites. I just love the finish on it. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So one side we're going to put our concealer on first and the other side we're going to do our foundation first. So let's go ahead and put foundation on one side of my face. Okay, so I've applied my foundation to half of my face. The NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation is more of a like, medium buildable coverage. I usually will do one layer of it and then kind of look and see where I need extra coverage. Then I can come in and conceal those areas that I need the extra coverage. So we've got half of that on. This does oxidize a little bit, so you probably noticed as I was first putting it on, it looked really light, but you can see it's starting to match my skin tone here. So we'll let that finish oxidizing and we'll come over on this side and we'll put on our concealer first. Like I said, I normally use my concealer to highlight my face as well as cover. So I usually do a little bit right here. I take it down the nose a little bit right here. I do a little bit on the outer corner of the eye. And see, I can already tell that I'm wanting to put on extra concealer because usually I'll just like flick that one little swipe there and I had to like come in and make it thick and even because I feel like I'm having to cover that area. It's tricking your mind. Right, then I usually do a little bit right through the center of the forehead there on my Cupid's bow and on my chin. And then I always do my smile line in this little crease underneath of my eye. 
this area. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna blend that out really quick and then we'll come in and do the opposite sides. Oh, I forgot to do the bridge of my nose. <laughs> I usually highlight the bridge of my nose too. So I usually do one little dot right here. And one right there. And that's kind of hard to do the, just one half of your nose because I want it to look symmetrical when I'm done. So I did my best to kind of get it to one side, but it's basically on the middle. Okay, so I usually blend that out first. Okay, so we've concealed this side. We have foundation this side. Looks a little crazy right now. I could definitely tell on this side that I had a tendency to want to like drag the concealer out way farther and in areas that I didn't really need it because I have no coverage on there yet. So the fact that I could see like where the edge tapered out a little bit was driving me crazy. So I kept pulling it out a little bit more and pulling it out a little bit more. I also feel like I used a lot more concealer than I typically would because I like when I was blending it out, it seemed to go a lot farther than it usually does on top of my foundation. So I think you have a tendency to use a little bit more concealer when you don't already have a really nice base to work on. Then do my concealer on this side like I normally would. So we can see how that looks finished and then we'll do our uh, foundation on this side. Okay, so I did all the same areas on this side, and I also just realized that when I was doing this, I did not dip back into my concealer. And on this side, I think I dipped back into my concealer a couple times. So I was definitely putting more concealer on this side, because on this side, it already looks nice and flawless. So I just put a little bit where I feel like I need it, and then blend it out. And it almost feels like it blends more easily on top of the foundation than it does directly on the skin. I think that the foundation gives it a little bit of something to stick to. So it moves around a little bit more, I feel like, when you put it directly on your skin. Okay, so that side is completely blended out. We have concealer and foundation. I think it looks really nice and blended. That's how I typically do it. That's how I'm used to seeing it. So now let's try to come back in with our foundation on top. I'm just gonna do it the same way I did on this side, pump a little bit on my hand, pick it up in my brush here, and then I will start to apply it. Okay, so that is both sides with both foundation and concealer. As a reminder, we did foundation first, concealer second on this side, and concealer first, foundation second on this side. Get up close and let you look at the two here. I'm going to take a close up look at this. Now, I will say I felt like I used the same amount of foundation on this side as opposed to this side. So that didn't really change anything as far as how much foundation I was using. And I feel like I used more concealer on this side. So I definitely feel like I have more makeup on the side that I did concealer first, as opposed to how I normally do it, which is foundation first. As far as how they're like wearing and blended together, it's very similar, but I will say, so when I do my foundation first, I have a tendency to pull it up a little bit higher into this area. And over here, because I already had concealer on, I didn't really pull my foundation up as high. So that did two things. One, it did give me a little bit brighter appearance underneath of the eye, but the other thing it did is it left this kind of bluish cast right here under my eye. So my foundation typically cancels out a little bit of that blueness underneath of my eye when I don't color correct it. And I can usually just go in with my concealer and it helps to kind of cancel out that blue undertone. So because I did my concealer first here and I already had coverage, I didn't bring my foundation up over top of that. And so I'm getting less coverage underneath of the eye just in this area here. 
I also feel like I don't have as much of a blend between my concealer and my foundation when I do my concealer first. Like through this area where I highlighted my forehead, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person I can almost see like a little line where my foundation came over top of my concealer. Whereas this one, the concealer blends out really smoothly and the transition is very smooth. But honestly, as far as appearance goes, there's really not that much of a difference. It doesn't affect the way that my foundation sits on my skin, and they both still give a really nice even coverage. This one, I would say you probably get a little bit more full coverage. I would just recommend color correcting underneath of the eye before you do your concealer, which I normally would if I was gonna do like a glam full cover look. So it's really up to you. There are basic principles and rules to doing makeup, but what works for you works for you. <laughs> if you are a concealer before foundation person, keep doing you. If you're a foundation before concealer person, keep doing you. With the exception of what kind of product you're using and how those layer together with other products. It really doesn't matter if you do your foundation or your concealer first. I know that may not be the answer that people are looking for, but I do hope that I help to clear this up, give you some reasons why you might want to do one over the other or why you should do one over the other when you're working with different types of concealers and foundations. Mostly it's a preference thing or whatever works best for you. I hope you all enjoyed today's video or somehow found it helpful. Tell me in the comments below if you are a foundation first or a concealer first. I'm just interested to know what everybody else does. I pretty much always do my concealer after my foundation, but I know everybody has their own thing that works for them. So drop that in the comments below for me. Also, if you happen to find this video today and you enjoy videos like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also click that bell for notifications so that you can get notified when I post new content. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day, and until I see you next time, remember to be true to yourselves, be kind to one another, and most importantly, be beautiful. I love you all. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.